Click. What up, big kids? It's my birthday. It's my new I'm 35 and you can believe it. Oh man, what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, um, I have so much to unbox from so many different companies and I'm going to get to that pretty much right away. But first, I want to say this video is sponsored. Um, well, it's sponsored by all these companies really, but also it's kind of sponsored by the girl that just gave it to me for free. It's my birthday. Thanks to Starbucks. Thanks for the free birthday cappuccino. And thanks to Dutch Brothers, thank you for the birthday drink too. So I got my birthday drinks. This is, you know, I don't drink alcohol, but I do love me some coffee. So thank you, Starbucks and Dutch Brothers. You guys are amazing. So it's wonderful. Oh man, they got a cool thing with us for those are on top here. That's that's cool. It's like a double lid thing. That's awesome. That's awesome. I really like that. So Oh, real quick, also I want to share for my birthday, um, uh, my buddy Josh got me One Punch Man dubbed season one, so thank you Josh, he also sent me a nice birthday message, and he also gave me Vampire Hunter D, Bloodlust, a really awesome anime movie, so Josh is the one that got me into My Hero Academia, and and also was the reason why I got to check out One Punch Man Dope. So thank you, Josh, so much. I love you so much, man. You're the best. And he's one of my longest best friends. So thank you, Josh. I love you, man. And uh, yeah, uh, have a birthday celebration tonight. So that's why I wanted to do this now. I'm finished cleaning, getting ready for that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I just love that thing. So let's get into um, some stuff we need to unbox. That's awesome. I just, just kind of like want to replay that over and over and stuff. Like, yes. I just thought it was great. The funny thing was, I saw Thor Ragnarok last year on my birthday. So when that came up, I was just like, I loved it so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys so much for um, uh, watching, uh, joining me. So let's start with my oldest package. I should have opened this up months ago. So thank you Diamond Select Toys for sending me this. I apologize for opening this so freaking late. Diamond Select makes so many amazing things. Wait, Nightmare Before Action. Nightmare Before Christmas Action figures. So I plan to review this, especially with the game coming out in January. The long-awaited sequel. Yes. We got the Kingdom Hearts Select Action Figure Series 1. This is Sora, Dust, and Soldier. So yes, really awesome. These have been out for a while, but I'm really happy to have some Kingdom Hearts figures. I love Kingdom Hearts, I love Disney, so thank you Diamond Select, I will be reviewing this. Well, also, they also sent me Mickey, Axel, and Shadow. So, um, Wave 1, I believe they're on like Wave 2 and 3 right now. Um, I gotta double check on that. Actually, let me double check in. You can get these at, um, like, I think the Disney Store, and you can get them at Target maybe now, since we start on. So, let me see. Kingdom Hearts. By the way, I love this music. I, I wanna like playing Queen too, but I don't want to like copyright infringement. So. Hold on, let me see. No, we'll put it on. Yeah, they got it. Um, yeah, I think it's just, yeah, wave one and two. So, yeah. So, yeah, uh, thank, thank you to Diamond Select Toys. I will be reading this. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll open these up later. There is some stuff I will open up. Also, I saw Bohemian Raspity. I picked this up on my own. I picked up the Freddie Mercury um, SHVU Arts figure. I love Freddie Mercury. I love Queen. I'm going to review this tomorrow. I wanted to review this yesterday, but I, I was so packed yesterday on things to do. I had to renew my driver's license and pay my rent because just because it's your birthday doesn't mean you can't. <laughs> you can't. Uh, you guys, you can't. You stop paying bills or anything. Yeah, sorry. Did I stutter? Yes, I did. 
Yeah, I'll play the song one too. It's just there. Yeah, so I uh, got that, and um, also some other upcoming things to review that you guys will see me review. I picked this up. Well, I showed I, this in my last night show. I got the Bumblebee Studio Series Bumblebee from New Movie. I'll do an old school transformer review, try to show the transformation. I got Mira. She's really hard to find in the wild from Aquaman. I finally get the whole wave. You know, it's a support figure to Aquaman, Ocean Master, and Black Manta. And this one I'm so excited for. I got the Spider-Man Marvel Legends, or the Marvel Legends Spider-Man based on his previous four suit, the advanced suit. So I'm really excited. So that has some stuff to look forward to. Also, to add to my a few yards, whoa, sorry, collection, I got I picked this guy up at San Diego Comic Con, I got Tian, and I got Yom Chop. Yes. So I add this to my SHPRs collection. So yeah. Alright. But definitely Freddy is gonna be reviewed and then probably Spider-Man and all of them. And yeah, yeah, but yeah, I still got more stuff to unbox you guys, so let's uh yeah, let's get to it here. Hold on. Alright. Move this box. And that's just one of how many things to look. Oh, this thing is another cool thing. Um, a company that works with Hasbro. Well, this is Hasbro, but um, I might as well just show this all off and everything. They sent me this just to make a little review or video about it. So sorry it took me so long. I've been going through so much stuff, so I always apologize. I feel like I'm the worst. Unless it's something like I really, really, really want. Um, if you want to send me something like I'm like so bad about reviewing it, I apologize. But, this is really cool. This is from Hasbro. I'm so slow to open this up. Okay. And wait, where's my other shit thing? Oh, thank you, comic uh comic fan uh comic fan fan. Yeah. Do you like Attack of Titan? It's cool. Uh, those tiny's really scare me. So we got the Hero Vision um Avengers of Fable or Hero Vision Augmented Reality Experience. So this is really cool. Um, yeah, AR markers and everything. I actually will think about doing like a little review type thing on this. I, I'm definitely getting back into reviews after uh, starting tomorrow. So yeah, this is available in stores. I don't think it's a big bad toy store, but you should be able to find this Target, Walmart. Um, yeah, let's see. Hero Vision. Yeah, I don't think uh, this is, Big Bad Toy Store doesn't sell this, but yeah, you can find this pretty much Target, Walmart, or wherever. So really awesome. Uh, and Amazon, of course, Amazon, you can find all these things like, um, um, yeah, so, and like the Diamond Select figures too, you can find them on Amazon. Hero Vision, Iron Man. Here, this one retails for... Um, yeah, you can get this now on Amazon. This original was 50 bucks, but you can get it now on Amazon for 35 bucks. So it's a little cool thing for the kids. Well, Iron Man mask, role play thing, AR gauntlet, use gauntlets. I'm we'll definitely trying to show this off later. All right, so there we go. So I don't count the, by the way, I don't count those things as birthday presents. Um, those were all like things that were coming to me. I just wanted to put this, I've been meaning to unbox them. So make this as a part of like my unboxing extravaganza, you know? So, um, okay. Let me get back to my live show. Okay. Well, I am here. So, okay. Oh, this is going to get messier before it gets better. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, oh, okay, so yeah. All right, okay, this next thing. Oh, actually, uh, let me do this because this open up. So, company at, you can't get these at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, this next thing, they've sent me stuff before and they're awesome, is Haya Toys. They got the Aliens Colonial Marine Xenomorph and the Xenomorph Crusher. So these are available at Big Bad Toy Store, the three and quarter scale. So very awesome. So you can get these at Big Bad Toy Store, the, uh, let's see, 
I got was yeah, the Croucher is 40 bucks because it's a big Mamma Jamma. He looks really awesome, by the way. And the um, Raven um, is 40 also. So, oh, wow. So, yeah. Uh, and they have their Predators, too, which, um, yeah, I have their Predators also. Um, yeah, they're uh, 20 bucks. So, yeah, I'll be uh, reviewing those, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, you know, so they're really like you know articulated detail, three foot, three four inch scale figures. They have a lot of accessories and whatnot, or extra hands, and yeah. So thank you, Haya Toys. I bet it's gonna be like a little thing of all these things that I'm unboxing. Okay, all right. And I see this one next, and then, yeah, we're getting to it. We're going through this stuff. Oh, thank you. So, I yeah, miss you so much. Wish you were in California. Um, okay, so this thing is really cool. Um, I'm trying to remember the company. I know what this is, but I'm trying to remember. Um, this thing is really cool. Oh, yeah, it's from Jack Specific. Okay, so Jack sent me this. This is hilarious. Jack sent me things before. Oh yeah, this thing I might. This will be so much fun for the party. So this I actually saw at GameStop yesterday. It's the toilet paper blaster. How cool is that? It's the toilet paper skid shot. Um, yeah, yeah, the skid shot wipe out the competition. Literally, <laughs> load and blast, easy clean with no batteries required. Ten pieces. Now this one I have to open up. We're gonna try this out, you guys. Hey Jay, can we just see you tonight, man? All right. So, oh, so we're gonna put this together, you guys, because this is just how could you not? Okay. So, we're gonna show this off because this is just something that's just hilarious, and yeah, we we have to we have to find that. Oh my. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I swear. I don't know why they made like the twist eyes so crazy and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm surprised Sharmus, uh, they didn't send Sharmus this. This makes more sense. Or maybe they did, or they contacted. I'm pretty sure they would contact Sharmus for this. It's in his name. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Chewy. <laughs> We're gonna build this thing real quick because this is just awesome. And I'll even use I am worried about making a mess, but yeah, I need it all out to go by like Target and um, get some more toilet paper after this. Okay, so how does this work? Okay, it works. Oh my gosh. Oh, we gotta fill this with water, eh? It's like a squirter, and oh my god, this thing, this thing is crazy. Okay, yeah, let's assemble this real quick. Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy. Let me put it back on that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Zoe. I'm glad you're on here too. All, all right. Um, man, this is crazy. Okay, so snap thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I gotta see. Click, click. This is okay. I, I get this now. So. It's Okay, cool. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, now then. Okay, I think this. I think that's how we do. <laughs> this is like so. Like wow, very uh, involved. 
I feel like, okay, then I twist it. Okay, cool. Then uh, I'll fill this up with water here in a second. And then, then let me see here. And then, um, and then, uh, <laughs> I don't know, just, okay, I think, yeah, uh, okay, I think this is where you would put the toilet paper. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, okay, that's where you put the, I think. Yeah, okay, yeah, and then the water will go here. Okay, so, oh, and then what's this little piece go to? Remove, oh, this is a removal tool. Okay, so, oh yeah, so let me um, fill this up with water, and then, yeah, because I guess it's a squirt gun, and we're going to try this out. All right, and we're back. So um, the way this works, okay, so, oh, okay, so is this like an upside down thing or? No, no, it's, uh, no, okay. Oh, okay, so we wanna do this, turn. Okay, so, so far so good. Then I got my toilet paper, so I guess we put this in here. But wait, how do we um, rotate the toilet paper? And I don't know. I don't wait. Hold on. Now you're. Squeeze the, the blast out toilet paper. Really? Uh, <laughs> sorry, this is like rotate toilet paper arm for toilet paper holder. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, I was reading the instructions wrong. Um, hold on. Man, this is interesting. Oh. Okay. I feel like air pressure is good shot. Okay. And all. Okay, let me. Oh, yeah, we gotta insert this thing. There you go. Now, do this. And then, okay, so now to make this work, roll the end. Um, okay, now I have to connect this somewhere, I'm trying to figure out where. Somewhere over here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, and this is like, oh, okay, so you're supposed to Insert slot, insert, slowly insert on slot of blaster, okay. I think that works, and then, all right, let me load. 
and then using one ply repeat twice and then and then pull firing all the way back. Okay, now just the push firing handle forward and down. Oh, what did I shoot? Oh, crap. It worked. Oh, it's like a spit poke. <laughs> I thought, wow, that is crazy. Oh, man. This is. A spitball gun. I didn't realize that. That's so crazy. So, hold on. So then I do it again. And fire. Oh, ew. It's a spitball gun. <laughs> oh my god. That is hilarious. Oh. Oh man. I was thinking this was gonna like like be like a toilet paper teepee machine thing, but no, it's like, oh man, oh man, this is dangerous, especially in the hands of friends who are gonna be intoxicated or whatnot. Oh no, but that's awesome. Thank you, <laughs> Jack Specific. Wow, I know what to get tournaments for Christmas. Oh my god, that is hilarious. I got like a spitball against my uh, my my little cabinet thing. Oh my god, that is hilarious! Wow, and like a spitball, like oh my god, this is great. Oh. okay. Now let's get into ugh, last three packages. Oh my gosh. Need some more coffee. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Birthday coffee drinks. I love it. Okay. So, this is from Molecule 8, a newer company. And they have something really awesome that they did. Definitely show this off. Okay. I always, when companies send these boxes, um, oh, no. yeah, okay, cool. It's not as hard. There was, ordered something, like, from eBay that was, like, the way it was packaged. It's like, how do you freaking open this thing? So, like, it's like, Cassie, I miss you. You should come tonight. Bring your boyfriend. Man, but, um, should turn on super? chats i don't know what there's a super chat thing what is that okay so yeah that toilet paper gun i mean that spitball gun oh my god so this is like dangerous oh my god a spitball gun oh man well it's not spitball it's water but it's pretty much a spitball gun oh my god that is so crazy that is crazy oh my god so let's see here this one is now we're getting to the really cool stuff Oh man, imagine all the people. So this, oh my gosh, this box. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no matter how old I get, the clumsy guy. Oh, little guitar. Oh my God. Hmm. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Now this is kind of heavy because this has a mouse goes in. Yeah, Cassie, I sent you it like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, I always do. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I got to like text people and stuff like that. But yeah, you're more than coming. It's going too late. So yeah, anyway, um, this is their John Lennon action figure, the one six scale John Lennon limited edition figure. So show this off. I... Oh, look how beautiful this is. Love John Lennon and love the Beatles. 
It has two of his outfits. Some they fall out. Oh, a hand fell out. Chewy. No. I gotta find the hand here in a second, but yeah, it has two heads. I'll show like when the head's off. Everything. Yeah, you can definitely bring bring them. I invited like Tina and everyone. I thought they would tell you and everything. Yeah, my, and today is my my birthday too. So yeah, having on my actual birthday. So here's John Lennon's head. Really nice detail. I'm really he really did a great job. Yeah. So wow, and he has like a the stand and his outfit and. This is separately. So, his guitar, really nice. That is awesome. Oh, he has little guitar picks in here? Oh, man. I don't know if those are just like holes for guitar picks or whatnot. Yeah, I got, hopefully I didn't lose them. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So that's really awesome. I will be reviewing him soon, but definitely got to do Freddy first. Even though we lost John first, way back in the 70s, getting freaking assassinated. Oh, there is him. Okay. But yeah, thank you so much. Molecule 8 for sending me that. I've been meaning to open this up and I'm going to review it. Can't wait. All right. Cool. Now we're into our last two packages. And the last one will be from Big Bad Toyster. This next one is from, uh, let's see. Miss you, Cassie. Um, let's see. While I get it, I just got to play this. We're going to be playing this throughout the whole show. Yeah, <laughs> and 3 0. Thank you so much. Oh, shoot. You have to want to be right there. So, this 3 0 sent me not one, but two figures from. They're walking the deadline, so separate this. Ooh. Wow, okay. So let's start with everyone's favorite. I have their brick, which he's, you know, on his last episode there, so yeah, gonna miss Rick here. But yeah, let's show off. This one I was really excited for. For Daryl, oh, <laughs> he just punched me. Daryl Dixon, yeah, Daryl Dixon figure. Yeah, so got their Daryl Dixon figure. Really awesome. Really nice packaging. Ooh, this is their exclusive version. So, yeah, let's see if I can try to show this off here. They have a lot of plastic on here, but if not, I'll do, um, what's it called? Um, I'll, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do, because uh, I am going to review all this stuff that I've been needing to review. I'm going to go full force with doing reviews again. Oh yeah, I want to definitely get some Rick Ralph too, so I can, uh, yeah. As far as, like, Fantastic East be supplies, uh, yeah, that's a really good, like, um, Oh yeah, so, I'm trying to show this off. Oh, nice. So here's the Daryl Dixon figure. Really awesome, not a bad head sculpt at all from Norman Reedus. I met Norman and he's awesome. Hey Dakota man, love you too. Oh, I love his angel wings in the back, so very awesome.
him so behind on a lot of 160 stuff figures. Oh, he has his poncho. And yeah, he has quite a bit of stuff. Holy crap. I'll definitely, yeah, I'll definitely show this off more in detail later, but that's one of the figures they sent me. Let's see. And you can get these at bigbadtoystore.com. Oh, no. Um, yeah, I, I reviewed the Rick like a while back when they first came out because I was excited for the Walking Dead figures. Sad thing is I don't really watch the Walking Dead anymore, but I, I still enjoy Daryl and whatnot. Okay. So let me, oh gosh, so many boxes. It's just going to get worse. So we got Daryl. And they sent me a uh, a uh, comedian figure or uh, Thomas Wayne figure. Huh. No, it's me again. Huh. Yeah, dude, you know, I kind of get those Marvel Legend figures like Beast, and I want to get back to really collecting now since I'm making some money again. <laughs> yeah, my new job has been great. I'm in training still, training for a couple more weeks, but yeah. And we got the bastard himself, Negan. Oh yeah, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, gotta love him. Very awesome. And yeah, this one they're gonna put plastic over his head, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, can do it. And I know they have a Glenn and Michonne. One sec. And Michonne's in stock, Daryl's in stock, Megan's in stock, and Glenn is on pure. Uh, Merle uh, sold out, sadly. And then you can take it Merle, where he sold out. Ooh, and they're selling Michonne's uh, pet. For half off. So let's show off Negan. Oh, they did put plastic on his head and his boots. Not bad, not bad. Really nice uh, likeness to Jeffrey Dean Morgan. One of the easiest, most badass cosplays to do I've seen around. Nice. Put this back on. And he has Lucille, just regular bed, and Lucille with the barbed wire. And oh, actually, you can put the barbed wire on, I guess. Mm, nice. Should come with instructions on that. Okay. But yeah, so there's Negan. So thank you, 3 Zero. I will be reviewing these soon, too, especially with Walking Dead, um, you know, current season going on. You know, I'm not watching it. I watched it when Negan, the last season I watched it was the season that Negan was on, and then I haven't watched the last season or this current season. Yeah, so. Now, last but not least, Big Bad Toy Store. Click the link for so much more. Yes. Yes, big bad toy store, you guys, and it is big. <laughs> oh my god, there's a reason why it's so big here. This one, this one is my birthday haul. So thank you, big bad toy store, for sending me this. This is all stuff I got to pick out. And thank you, big bad toy store, for hooking it up for many years now. My longest running sponsor. Actually, pretty much most of the stuff you can get at Big Bad Toy Store, yeah, except for like the, um, yeah, the, uh, I think the skid shotgun and yeah, the toilet paper blasters and, yeah, but you can get like everything else from Big Bad Toy Store. It's a really awesome way. Let me check real quick. What was the, 
what was the one thing I was saying? Oh yeah, the molecule one. I think John Lennon. Yep, and it's in stock for three hundred bucks. Good boy. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, so there's a huge one here. That's what she said. Ugh. We'll get to that in a moment. I'll save that for last. These two. Oh yeah. We got the SH Figure Arts Majin Boo. We we'll hate you. And we got my favorite Dragon Ball lady, Bulma. Bulma, Videl, Android 18. I love them all. Oh yeah, so awesome. So excited to have them. Man, I didn't realize how big Boo was. Jesus. I mean, I knew he was big, but dang, I didn't realize how big. Gosh, this box is huge. Got it. Close of all these boxes. Okay, so these things I'm gonna actually open up. So we're gonna start with Boo. Take a look at the packaging. He looks adorable. The only thing I know I won't like is the plastic cape because I'm not a fan of plastic capes. But yeah, it's Boo. Hey, what's up? Fancox98. Yeah, so um, let's see here. Yeah, you should subscribe and yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sending. By the way, um, the things I'm doing on my Facebook, uh, donating to the SPCA, if you want to support the channel, because I plan to do not only reviews, but editorials coming up, especially about like the Nightmare Before Christmas and some other stuff. Um, you can go to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Sean X Long to support the channel. You know, just support like a dollar, but that's only if you want to. It's all cool. When I start doing more elaborate videos, then, you know, but right now, working my jobs and stuff, it's cool. Hold on a sec. Get you some more water. Right. Okay. Now let's open up Boo. Have some more coffee real quick. Oh, you mean Sean Gun? Oh, thanks. I, I, I think that's a compliment. Sean Gun is a good-looking guy. I guess if your name is Sean, you're a good-looking person. Sean Connery, who was named after Sean Bean, good-looking dude. Uh, Sean Penn, good-looking dude. Yeah. So let's open up my Majin Buu Zen version. Damn. So let's, whoa, he has his cape here, three pieces. Oh, hold on a sec, guys. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, hold on. There you go, I'm back on Instagram, sorry. It's like, wait, I don't have to answer it on my phone, I can answer it through my computer, because I'm on my computer. Um... Um, yeah, dude, I've seen Teen Titans Go with the movies. I got the blue, I saw it in theaters and I got the Blu ray, which I mean, I uh, need to, um, or, oh, excuse me, review. Sorry. Okay, now let's open up Boo. Man, he is so, he's so big. Oh, wow. He's not as heavy as you think he is. Boo. Light, light. Light, 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 light. Okay. There you go. Woo. Don't want to lose that. Yeah, he's actually not as heavy as you think he is. He's, he's way lighter. Okay, let me take out this, all this plastic stuff. I understand why they do this, but it's just not fun when you're a person that opens up their toys and has to deal with all this. Okay, take that on the arm. And I believe that's it. Yeah, he's really sturdy. I love it. I built the, the evil kid boo 
or the build kid boo and then snapping Majin boo is awesome. So before we get into the favorite my special office accessories, so oh well actually no let me do it properly like I I did. So let's put on the cape first. Well okay. So let's show off the figure first. Adorable head sculpt boo. Even when he started off as a bad guy was like the most he was like the stay puff marshmallow man of Dragon Ball. That's what he is. He's he's was supposed to be evil, but he's just more cute than evil. Because the Stay Puff was a mascot, you know? All right. Oh, yeah, the coffee's still good. I got two of my coffee drinks. <laughs> free coffee is always the tastiest, especially free birthday coffee. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I never reviewed Venom. I still got to review the Venom movie, but I really gave it like a, like a three out of five. I thought it was good, but not great. I need to see it again, but I will buy it on Blu-ray. So let's put on the can. So Boo, you know, I really love the Majin symbol right there. So booties, his boxing gloves. Very awesome. So cute. His pants, then people think he has a diaper, but no, it's not like that. So insert his cape. I need a get Daredevil 19's like girlfriend's custom cape because I would rather have a plastic, I mean a cloth cape than a plastic cape. So you wait till it clicks. And and it's funny because um, on their Justice League and Batman figures, they've used cloth capes for their figures. So I don't know why Tamashii Nations is doing plastic. Just not a fan of, plas of plastic capes at all. And that's why, because they fall off like that. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Oop. Hold on. Yeah, and I'm just like, you don't want to worry about breaking this and all of this. Boo, hate you! See, this is why. Oh, okay, click. This is why Edna says no capes, no capes. Where's Trent doing his like no capes thing? Oh man, I have like all this stuff here. Oh, hold on, four upon the rest of his cape. Oh, okay, hold on. Who's Boo really? Uh, do you watch the Majin Boo saga? I was like, the last saga from Dragon Ball Z before they, uh, you know, became Dragon Ball Super. And he's in Dragon Ball Super. He actually got all skinny in the last episode, like for training for the Tournament of Power. Okay, cool. Okay, hold on. All right. While I put this on, just remind people if they didn't know already and I haven't mentioned it. Oh, yes. So here we got Boo with his cape looking awesome. So uh, let's get into the articulation here. And I plan to do hopefully like either quickie reviews or what now of these guys. So his head fully rotates, it's like on this double joint thing, so it goes up and down really good. <laughs> his music, man. Uh, he has like kind of like a armpit when he goes in and out, he fully rotates. Um, goes in and out that way, really good. He has a nice bicep swivel, two points of elbow articulation. But it's kind of like a little bit more than a single joint, but it, it's definitely two points. Rotates on the wrist, will go up. He has an ab control or like waist ab that kind of rotates, but moves forward and back a little bit. And then his legs go forward. They go not really back, only back that much. They go in and out, so he can actually do the splits, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, and he does have an upper uh, thigh swivel. He has a single jointed uh, knees, and then his ankles fully rotate. He doesn't really have a pivot, he has a pivot forward and back, and not really ankle pivot side to side, but he has two articulations. So, yeah. So, 
yeah, he wished his angles were a little bit better too, if he wanted to make it a little bit more dynamic, but yeah. He could do semi-dynamic with his legs and stuff like that. But yeah, I think even in the pictures, his legs are always like, yeah. All right, so not bad. The articulation is actually quite good considering how bad he is. And, yeah. and his cape is, you know, you can go out like that and can go to the side to side and oh man, this thing falls out. I definitely want a cloth cape. I'm not a fan of plastic capes and this separating like those, those, uh, what's it called? Those, is it, they, man, who, Revotech figures, the comic figures that have all those milling pieces for the cape. I'm like, nope. <laughs> like, especially for Batman, I was like, nope. I'm not digging it. I look like Raymond from Everyone Loves Raymond. Okay, I've been hearing so many different things. I hear tons of things from Jeremy Renner to Tom Cruise to, um, man, I hear just so much stuff. There we go, click. Okay. Now, let's show the accessories. Boo has some pointy fingers. Or like, I am number one. And then he has some grabby fingers, and this is probably for his accessory, like the chocolate that he comes with. And then he comes with two alternative head sculpts. He comes with his tongue sticking out one, and he comes with this kind of angry, smiling one. So I'm going to choose the tongue one, and then he comes with the most delicious accessory, a bar of chocolate, and it looks delicious. And that's it. Not too much, but I think it's a good amount of accessories. And for how big he is, he was like 80 bucks at Big Bad Toy Store. Yeah, that's not bad considering the prices for SH figures, so I switch out. Yeah, oh yeah, this the joint here, it's like you gotta make sure it gets on here. Switching on the heads can be a little tricky, I heard. Yeah, especially with this hinge ball joint thing going on. Dang it. Yeah, I know sometimes switching on heads are a little bit more trickier than it should be. Okay, cool. Let's switch out his hands real quick. Having him with some chocolate is just adorable. And yeah. Oh, dude, that, if any words made me, every time I watch it, it makes me cry without fail. No matter how many times I watch it, no matter how much I know what's going to happen, it still makes me cry. But watching everyone die and then Spider-Man. And if you, spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't watched it anymore, but really, come on, at this point, if you haven't watched it, you don't care to. Aw, there you go. That's how I'm going to display my boo. Boo, my chocolate! Boo! Yes, so there you go. Majin Boo. Or, uh, as they call it, Majin Buu Zen version, since um, he was split up into evil and whatever. And then there's the uh, other part I just had. It's my birthday. <laughs> Sorry, you got that stuck in my head. Oh, there it is. Okay. okay, let's put this back in the box. I appreciate all you guys joining me on my birthday show. Makes this old fart here doesn't feel so old, especially since like he spends his money on, on toys or video games. I'm planning to get Red Dead Redemption 2 soon, but I got the new My Hero Academia video game.
and I'm just happy my rent is paid, bills are paid. Yeah, that makes me happy. Man. There we go. <laughs> Man, it's so tricky. Okay. I plan, I just, I need a next one. I'll get Go Tense and I want to get Shenron and Napa. And then I pretty much, all the SH figure arts that haven't come out yet, that I, I pretty much, oh no, I forgot to put Boo's head in there. Crap, of course, right? Don't you just do that one? You spend all this time putting everything back in the box and you miss one accessory. And you're like, oh, of course. But yeah, I want to get Shinron. And yeah, because I want to get like a SH Figure Art Super Saiyan Vegeta. Because the only Figure Arts Vegeta I have is the um, the, 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 the Scouter Vegeta. Yeah, the one with like, it's over 9,000. And then, um, and I, now one will go with my Napa once they get him. Um, but yeah, I want to get a Super Saiyan Vegeta, like Cell Saga Trunks. Oh, I definitely can't wait for the Dragon Ball Super Trunks. Um, you, know, you know, the Dragon Ball Super Trunks, not Super Saiyan Trunks. Well, he is Super Saiyan in that, but yeah, like the one where he's with the, his blue sword and blue hair. I can't wait for that because I have the Dragon Stars version of that. I'll show off my Dragon Ball collection. It actually has grown quite a lot this year. I really got into Dragon Ball figures between Dragon Stars, Figure Eye Standard, and um, what's it called? And uh, of course, SH Figure Arts. Of course. I'm gonna make sure I don't do the show no longer than like another half hour at the most. Then I gotta get ready for a uh, party. Oops, Jesus. And this, because this boo box has like two layers, it just makes it so much harder for some reason. That's what she said. Dude, have I played Spider-Man? I beat that, I platinum man. I have the DLC, I beat the, the first part of the DLC, I'm waiting for part two or three of the, the City That Never Sleeps DLC. So yeah, I played Spider-Man, and I showed off in the beginning, I'm going to be re reviewing the Marvel Legends Spider-Man based on his advanced suit from the PS4 game. Okay. All right, so we got Majin Buu. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> trying to like stack all this stuff, so we're small. Okay, there we go. And now for my girl, Bulma's. It makes sense. I'm wearing Vegeta's shirt, so of course, Bulma. The original Dragon Ball Honeywood. Okay, for uh, let's show off the picture. This is based on some. Art, I believe. I don't think she ever wore this in the original Dragon Ball. This is Bulma based on uh, the, first, the original Dragon Ball, not in Dragon Ball Z or Super. But yeah, looking very beautiful. We need more female characters in figure arts. And I know they're doing Android 21. And um, yeah, and they're doing um, should do like a new version of Android 18. I want a Videl. I actually want to do a top 10 SH figure arts Dragon Ball figures they should make. Dragon Ball fighters. Android. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's open up. <laughs> I just looking at my boo like uh, you know, for anyone on Instagram. You get to see boo eat chocolate. I open up Bulma. Her box is so much smaller than Boo, but yeah, all this stuff comes in like this this box right here. So crazy, right? But yeah, she looks beautiful. And the, the head she comes out, out of the box is pretty much my favorite head, the winking head, because it's fully Bulma in her attitude. She's so light. But yeah, there's Bulma, winky face. 
Look at that. Oh, and she has her Bulma. Yeah, really great detail. And you gotta love SH figures. Yeah, for um, anyone that's wondering. Ooh, oh my god, boo, geez. He's eating too much chocolate. Ah. Okay, so Bulma. Bulma goes for 60 bucks at Big Bad Toy Store, and I believe Boo. Yeah, he's 80 bucks. I was right. So, yeah, you can get them right now at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. So, Bulma is looking beautiful. Let me take off her little extra plastic thingy. Yeah, she has all these. Um, Man, she has actually too many accessories and stuff. Oops. Got this plastic. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's beautiful. Really love the detail on here. I love the little band aid underneath her eye, the Bulma uh, patch on her arm. Nice Bulma booty. I know Vegeta loves it. The power level of her butt is over 9,000! <laughs> yes. So yeah, look at that Bulma. Mickey face. I love it. Yeah, I've been wanting a Bulma figure for so long. So even though this is based on Dragon Ball instead of like Dragon Ball Z, I'm happy to have it. This this can work pretty well for Dragon Ball Z if you wanted to. I actually love how she looks in Dragon Ball Super too. Okay, so let's get into... Um, uh, articulation real quick. I'm planning to do a review in here. Her hair piece doesn't have any articulation, by the way. Head can't fully rotate. She can look up pretty good, down really good. Head pivot side to side. Her arms fully rotate. I love that the shoulder piece is on the arm and not on the torso. Um, you can uh, go in and out that way. Uh, rotate the upper part of the arm. She bends a little over 90 degrees at the elbows. So not double joints, but a little bit over 90 degrees, which is great. Rotates the wrist while going down. She doesn't have a bicep swivel. No, but she has like this upper arm swivel, so it kind of helps with like the bicep. And then she, oh yeah, her wrist rotate go in and out. Rotate at the upper part of the torso, goes in and out, and she has a waist joint that rotates and goes in and out a little bit too, which is great. Her legs go forward that much, goes back that much. She can almost do the splits. Uh, rotate over part of the leg, bend at two points at the knee. Oh, I love all the detail on the bandages right there, too. And uh, ankles can fully rotate, pivots forward and back, and she does have a really nice ankle pivot side to side, no toe articulation. But yeah, let's look into her accessories and we'll get into the final thing I got from Big Bad Toy Store. So she comes with two alternative faces. She comes with a regular smiling eyes open. And then she has one with her mouth open and looking to uh, the right. Yeah. So I love the faces on here. And then she comes with these goggles, which are sculpted in a way she's not meant to wear them, but you actually take off her head and then you actually just place them on her body right there and then yeah, just put her head back on and it's just meant to look like that. So it would have been cool if she could wear them too or like had a head with the goggles on, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm just trying to, oh yeah, they kind of yeah, there you go. And then um, she comes with this like Uzi machine gun type thing. Yeah, really nice detail. I don't even remember her ever using a gun. I'll have 30 seconds left on Instagram and then I'll make a, a second Instagram show. Doesn't have any moving parts, I don't think. Yeah. But then, oh yeah, she has all these extra hands. They're so tiny. Uh, but she has like open palm hands and like dragon ball holding hands and dragon radar hands and yeah so 
turn the showcase off. So there's all the extra hands, really nice detail on all the gloves. Hold on. Oop, hold on. I'm gonna restart the Instagram wind. Oh yeah. Thank you, Dutch first for wishing me happy birthday. Okay, live. Okay, we're back live here. Yay. Okay, so she also comes with two other accessories that really make sense for Bulma. She comes with the Dragon Radar, which has really nice paint. So itty bitty. The reason why they find the Dragon Ball so fast because it's not even a challenge anymore. Oh, by the way, for everyone on Instagram that didn't know. Yeah. Yep. I just love that. And then she comes. I got Master Roshi. I need to get the kid Goku one. That's also another on my list because I want Goku as a kid. And then she also comes with the five star Dragon Ball. It has the five stars on there. So very awesome. Five star dragon ball. So I'm gonna put on the hands so she can hold both the radar and the uh, dragon ball. She actually has a peg for her hand for the uh, um, the uh, dragon radar, dragon ball radar. Because, yeah. Switch out this one It's really hard to like what do I display or holding the dragon ball or the dragon radar. Because of the gun, like I just would rather like her like, carry it in a oh yeah, so here's the dragon radar. Slide this in and she play in. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you, Kiri. Um, I'm turning. Well, it's in the title. I'm 35 today. If you can believe it. Okay. Now I'll switch the hands to. Uh, oh no! Don't want to lose the Dragon Ball. Yeah, switch the hands to like a Dragon Ball holding hand. Yeah, she only has like one fist, and that's in the. Oops, oh, jeez. She has the gun holding hand, sorry. It's this one. I'm trying to think, she has all these different hands. So I'm trying to think, which is the better one? I think it's this one, actually. I just have to be very careful that I don't lose. Your pegs are really small and you don't want to break these. So yeah, I would, yeah, definitely like, I wish there was a little bit better, stronger gripping hand type thing. Yeah. And then let's see, put uh, let's see if I can split this in here.
maybe if I slip, I'm trying to figure out the best way to like display everything so I don't have to just keep it in the box. I don't know, uh, Avengers Assemble, Avengers Endgame, there's so many good for, uh, titles I could think of. I just can't wait when we get the, the trailer for it. I wish he had a holster for this and whatnot. Uh, uh. Oops. Oh yeah, it does have a removable strap. So that's the thing I forgot that this has a removable strap. So that's cool. I believe it's removable. I hope it is. Otherwise, I just broke it. Now, yeah, I know it's 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 removable. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I would have her like holding the Dragon Ball like like that. So yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I, uh, yeah, there we go. I can just have it where it's like laying on her arm, and yeah, there you go. Just be very careful. Yeah, so Bulma holding the Dragon Balls. She holds Vegeta's Dragon Balls every day. If you know what I'm saying, ah. Uh, oh, and I just lost. I lost my ball. Oh, I found it. Okay, cool. Let's so scoot this over so you guys can see. Ah, oh, keeps losing my ball. Okay, so that love um, having a Bulma figure. I'm so happy you can pick this up for sixty bucks at BigDadToyStore.com. Nice to finally have a Bulma figure. Baseline Dragon Ball. And now, last but not least. We got this big one. Oh yeah. And it pretty much says what it is, so heroes never die. I've wanted this ever since they announced it. She is my girl. I love her so much. I'm by the way, I'm super happy at BlizzCon, which I wish I could be there. Um, that they announced Hasbro is making Overwatch. Marvel Legends style action figures, and guess who the first one is? Mercy. Yes. So happy because Figma is taking forever. They're doing Zenyatta before Mercy. Come on, good small company. I love you guys, but really? Zenyatta? I love Zenyatta, but not before Mercy. If I'm going to get a killing character, it's going to be Mercy. So I got the Overwatch statue of Mercy. This is from Blizzard. This is their statue. I'm not a, really a statue guy, but for Mercy I had to get this. Because if I can have one Overwatch statue, it would be Mercy. So you have the box here. It says Overwatch. has the big Overwatch symbol. It says Mercy right here. has Mercy's head right there. Like that's how like her little icon in the game, and you can see pictures of Mercy, which I'll show for that. And then has her little stats. Of course, Mercy's real name is Angela Ziegler, uh, and she's thirty-seven, so I'm two years younger than Mercy. Feel unless we went by how old she was in the Sorry game, then I'm four years younger than her. Uh, Field medic, first responder for occupation. Uh, Zurich, uh, Switzerland, so she's Swedish, and her affiliation is Overwatch, formerly, but she's back to Overwatch, so let's open this up. Real quick, get some more coffee. When you open it, you got this, like, I guess, little instruction manual, which we might as well show off real quick here. All right, so you get search menu. It just pretty much shows where they're connected, but that's good. I'm glad. I'm always happy that in this statue is not designed to be separate from the base easily. So yeah, really excited for this. 
love Mercy. I have the Neutroid figure, the Pop figure, which, you know, going from $10 to, this is, uh, at the Blizzard website, it's $175, but after shipping, it's like $195. So that's how much it goes for a Big Bad Toy Store. So that's where I got it from. So I got my little Pop Mercy. But yeah, oops, what is this? Dang, all these little things. Okay, so let's open this up. All right. And even I love it, it says Overwatch Blizzard. Yeah, because I believe uh, this is not a toy. It wants to remind me that, so this is not a toy. <laughs> yes, I know, it's a statue. So let's uh, me open this up here. Okay. It's my birthday. All right, you guys. Let's open up on me. Yes. I forgot to do that one side. Huh? Oh, I love Tracer too. I would love the Tracer statue, but yeah, I, I rather I have the Figma Tracer, which I love. I rather have Action Girls this, but if I had only one statue, which now I do, it's Mercy, because I have like angels all over my arms. So yeah, that's I love Mercy's design. She was one of the first characters I played out. I played besides Soldier Seventy Six. They make you do they. I played in the beta, I played Mercy, Genji, and Reaper first. Just based on their designs. Oh my god. She looks so beautiful. This is amazing. So, you know, to, I gotta do this smart. It's like one, two, three. Okay. So let me do this uh, the base first because I wanna put this together. Okay. Let me do this real quick. So the face is pretty hefty. Ooh, it has a little cover right there. So it has the Overwatch symbol. This is where you connect it. On the bottom, it says Overwatch Mercy Collector Statue. It has Mercy Silhouette. So place that. Okay. So let me show her off. It's like polystone and oh my god, this is so beautiful. Look at that. This is like her iconic pose too, like. Well, this is like almost the Heroes Never Die pose, but this is when she's reaching out her hand. I actually, this is, I have this pose right here on my phone backdrop right now. My phone wallpaper. So I'm going to connect. Oh yeah, okay, so. Has a little place where they're connected. So slide it in. Oh, really easy. Here, I'm gonna move Boo and Bulma. Careful not to lose. Oh, and yep, I dropped my ball. Ah. I'm gonna put back here for now. Oh. Hold on a sec. Oh no, I keep losing my ball. Okay, now let me grab her, her staff. By the way, I'm the best Mercy player because I actually spend more time telling people and I still, I, I, I do great with telling people too, so I'm oh, great. So now, let's insert her, her hand right here. 
Oh yeah. Beautiful. Love the wings. For a hundred and or two hundred to like hundred and seventy five to two hundred dollar statue, this is wonderful. Her face looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so in love with Mercy. I almost went to Spirit and grabbed the Mercy costume, but I want to get the really good one, you know? Wow. So beautiful. I want to do a gender bend Mercy one day. I absolutely love this. Oh, and her wings just totally poke me. Yeah, careful. These wings are very pokey. Oh, Colton, I just mentioned it, how excited I am that Hasbro is doing Overwatch figures and Mercy is going to be the first one. I totally just mentioned it, man. Yeah, so um, I have Mercy. I will get everything of her. I got the Nindroid figure. I got the Pop figure. I got this one. Um, and I definitely can't wait for her Hasbro, Hasbro Ultimate figure. Uh, I'm just so excited for this. Oh my God, guys. This is, this was, I definitely wanted for my birthday. So thank you, Big God Toy Story, for the Bulma, the SH Figure Arts Bulma and Boo and this Mercy statue. Yeah, this is just so beautiful. I may not be at BlizzCon, but I'm definitely happy to have my Mercy. Okay, you guys. So. Thank you so much for everyone watching me box all this stuff back here. It's amazing. I mean, a lot of things Swiss companies send me for review, which I will review them. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the Freddie Mercury next in honor of Bohemian Raspity. I got the Bumblebee Studio Series, so Transformer Reviews Retrain. But I'm also going to review the Marvel Legends Spider-Man from the PS4 game, GameStop exclusive. So stay tuned for that, you guys. And... Um, yeah, I'll be reviewing all this stuff back here. And thank you so much for making my birthday really happy. If you want to support the channel, go to patreon.com forward slash Sean X Long. Link is in the description. You can buy all this stuff at Big Bad Toy Store, uh, minus like the Hero Vision thing. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you to 3 Zero. Thank you to Diamond Slug Toys. Thank you to Molecule 8, um, Jack Specific, and Hasbro, and Haya Toys. So thank you guys so much. And for more, check my website at seanmixlong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long saying heroes never die. And thank you for making my birthday special.